Hey Ravens, I'm Brooke Todd alongside Matt Vandersize for this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. Today we have highlights from the league wrestling tournament. We introduce you to a freshman basketball player, provide highlights from the basketball game against Shawnee Mission East, a senior night promo, and a sneak peek at the basketball hype video. Let's get started. First up, we have highlights of the Boys League Wrestling Tournament. Matt Vanderslice has the story. The Raven Wrestling Team went to the Sunflower League Tournament to get a quick tune-up before regionals. The Ravens did well in the tournament with many placers. The Ravens placed second overall with Luke Middleton and Chase Hartquist placing third, Taylor Jokers placing second, and Anthony Macaluso winning the tournament in his weight class. The Ravens will make a stop at regionals at Olathe East on Saturday on their way to state. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Brady Jensen. Now, back to the desk. Congratulations to all the wrestlers on their successful league tournament. The guys will compete at regionals Saturday the 20th at Olathe East. Best of luck to them. This past Tuesday, the Lady Ravens basketball team traveled to Shawnee Mission East to take on the Lancers. Parker Ralston has the story. The Lady Ravens took their talents to Shawnee Mission East on Tuesday. Going into the game, the Ravens had a record of 7-8, looking to get a road victory for their eighth win of the season. The Ravens were putting on an offensive show all throughout the game and held the lead 50-43 going into the fourth quarter, but the Lancers came into the fourth quarter with a shoot-first mentality and eventually won with a final score of 64-63. The Ravens now have a record of 7-9, and they play at the South on Friday, February 19th. So go out and support your Ravens. Next up, we have a story on freshman basketball player Dominic Messina. Connor Gertis has the story. Dominic Messina is one of the lone freshmen on the varsity basketball team that sees significant playing time. Dom was able to sit down with us and talk about his experiences, starting with when he first started playing basketball. Uh, I think I was like six years old. I played on a Gable team with a couple of the dudes that I'm still friends with today. So, yeah. Dom tells us about how his time on varsity has been so far. It's fun because you get to learn a lot of new stuff from the upperclassmen. Messina uh, talks about what upperclassmen has impacted him the most. Charlie Holmgren, hands down, that's easy. On January 29th, Dominic got his most significant amount of playing time against Topeka West. Uh, I was excited that I was getting to play uh, big minutes and help the team to the win. Dom adds how he thinks the season has gone so far. That's gone pretty well. I think we have a lot of room to improve. We can get a lot better and the season, you know, ahead of us is looking bright. Finally, Messina talks about his hopes for his future playing at Olathe Northwest. Uh, state championship. We got to win one. We got to win one. So. All right. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Connor Curtis. Now back to the desk. Dominic and the rest of the Ravens took on the Shawnee Mission East Lancers Tuesday at Shawnee Mission East. Jackson Mealman has the story. <laughs> The boys' basketball team played at Shawnee Mission East last Tuesday night. Owen W. jumped out to a 12-2 lead with his Jackson Nicodemus 3. The Lancers would fight back, but the Ravens led at the half 29-22. Luke Waters led the Ravens in scoring again with 17 points. The Ravens and the Lancers traded baskets in the fourth quarter, but the Ravens finished the game strong, closing out the Lancers and winning the game 55-53. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Jackson Mealman. Now back to the desk. Good job, Ravens. Their next matchup will, will be senior night on Friday against Late the South. Finally, we have a preview of the basketball highlight video that will premiere on Friday before the boys game. records have fallen, long after my rings have tarnished. Then what you got to do to make sure you chase your legacy. Leave your mark. 
That's all we have for this week. For Brooke Todd, I'm Matt Vanislaus. Have a great weekend, Ravens.